What is up YouTube? This is Kyle Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I don't know about where y'all live, but it's hot as Hades here. Uh, I hope everybody had a awesome 4th of July. Uh, I know there were some tragedies that happened in other places, but I hope it didn't touch any of my viewers or anything like that. That's horrible. And, you know, they should string that dude up, man. You know, plain and simple. But, uh, anyway, I had a pretty good weekend. We did the parade Monday, the 4th of July parade. We were in it. My car club. Uh, I had to do some work for school this week. I had to build a uh, Kydex press where... You know, I do. I'm gonna start doing Kydex holsters, and and uh, I'm actually gonna do uh, a sheath for my uh, Ontario Rat Three because I like the knife, but the darn sheath is crap. You know, and uh, it, it's a USA made knife, and it should have a better sheath than this. So I've actually got an extra sheet of kydex for school and uh i'm gonna make a pistol holster and i'm gonna make a a sheath for my rat three that's gonna be pretty cool so i gotta build the press this week uh, for school so i'm gonna be working in the shop a little bit and it's gonna be kind of a light week because it's hot and uh you know I'm not. Ju I'm just not gonna carry much on me this week, just because of that. Uh, I, I I'm carrying my Glock 19X and two magazines in my truck bag, so I have a firearm with me. I'm just not carrying it on me this week. Um, and being that the shop is only two blocks from the house, you know. And it's behind some other stuff, so there's not really nobody ever comes by there comes back there so you know i'm not really worried about a whole lot but you know hey never something crazy happens every day somewhere but for this week i'm just carrying this stuff on my body uh, that's all i'm going to show y'all today is uh, i'm driving my suburban this week which actually we were in the parade um, hold on a minute and I'll show y'all so there's my truck and uh, my wife had a bunch of minions dressed up on the truck see there's a bunch up on the top and sticking out the back windows and you know, had my presidential flags on the front, had them on the mirrors, streamers all around it. I had three American flags, and made them look like they were flowing in the wind because I was traveling in that direction, so it would flow in that direction. So I had one on the other side uh, and one on the back of the truck as well but that's my suburban right there that's my wife's account so on instagram but yeah i'm sorry i haven't made no videos on my vehicles but you know that's a pretty cool truck i know it it's got patina and looks kind of old and ratty but it's a brand new truck underneath i mean ls motor all kinds of stuff um air conditioning i mean it's it's just a cool truck disc brakes all the way around you know new gauges radio i mean so it's basically a new truck it just in an old body but i love that and on my keys, it's, they're getting heavier. I'm going to have to do something about that. But I'm carrying the Olight IR2 
Pro, a uh, little flashlight on here on my keys, which is pretty cool because you turn it on and it's got a dim setting and then you can brighten it up by a little twist of the cap. So it's a pretty neat little flashlight. Now, speaking of flashlight, because uh, when I pull up in front of the shop, you know, of course, I got big bay doors open and everything, and I park in front of the bay door. Uh, I normally just leave my keys in it because I'm literally like 10, 15 feet from the truck at most times. So, uh, and like I said, nobody ever comes back there, and I would see them approaching if uh, if they were. So uh, I just kind of leave the keys in the truck. So I'm carrying my Ace Beam uh, Rider at RX. This is a uh, this is a telescopic, and what that's meant for is like you can set it up on something, um, and then like the clip here. It's pretty cool because it's a pocket clip and it's 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 a little stiff but it's pocket clip but on top here it's where you can you know if you need to work hands free you can pop it on your cap or something like that and go hands free with it I really like this flashlight it's got five power settings on it low to high and then it's got a SOS pattern, strobe pattern. Pretty cool light. It come in uh, Going Gear EDC Club. I, I actually am carrying quite a bit of stuff with me today from Going Gear EDC Club. Uh, that that little flashlight come from Going Gear EDC Club. That flashlight come from Going Gear EDC Club. And going with a pattern, let's go with this. The Trayvac... Uh, wallet tray backs tray backs um, it it I thought it'd be a little weird at the moment because it's metal um, it's definitely metal it says it's RFID protected um, you know, you can adjust the strap for how many cards and stuff you want to carry. But, yeah. And you just kind of push up as you need it. And then you can push down and pull out what you need. But, it's a pretty neat little wallet. It's a little heavier than my... Uh, other wall, uh, minimal wallet I have, uh, the Rusco leather. I like this one because it's soft and it's light. It's definitely a lot heavier than this or lighter than this. But I figured I'd give this one a try because it come in going gear and you know it's all right. It's not that bad really. Uh, so. You know, I figured why not give it a shot while it came in. And then I could give everybody my honest opinion about it. I, I think it's a pretty decent wallet. Uh, it does get a little, you know, because that's, that's in there just sitting in there. And you only have this much contact. But, I mean, other than that, it, it really, it's not a bad wallet, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is super hot. It is so hot. The air conditioner in the house can't keep up. I'm just sitting here sweating. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just sweating my balls off. I hope all y'all are cool. And then the knife I'm carrying this week is my Axial Enzy. It's titanium framed. Warren Cliff Blade 20 CV 
steel. I mean, this is just a super nice knife. Frame lock, uh, centered up well. Flipper, action is great on it. A little dirty on the end there. The action is really nice on this knife. Drop shutty. I mean, just minimal effort. And it's not assisted, so... Uh, deep carry pocket clip, also in titanium. Titanium backspacer. I mean, this is a really, really nice little knife. And uh, I got the first run of it. It was $189. Uh, I think they're a little more than that now, uh, but, you know, this is a super nice knife, and I like it. I like Axial. They're great little company, uh, and uh, they're trying to make some really nice knives over there, and I've noticed, you know, prices are starting to go up on them because... You know, they're starting to be in demand a little more and stuff's getting higher, so steel's getting higher and, you know, you still have to pay your employees and, and whatnot. And so they are going up. They're like two something now. So, but, uh, you know, the next ones, the ones y'all would be getting. See, this was the first production run. This one was done in China. Uh, to get it, the line going uh, and so it was made in China well they're producing them in house now and so that brings that brings the uh, price up as well but you know uh, they they were planning on doing it in house they just they're an up and coming growing company so they had to get their machines and more furnaces in and everything they needed to make the knives and uh, so they needed to get all that stuff in before they started running them in house but they they wanted to get them out there and see how well they they would do on the market so they just outsourced it to a company to build the first run and so that made the the price go up on them too, I'm sure. But the hat I'm wearing this week, I love my Holly FI hat. These hats are so darn comfortable. See, it's just dirty. I mean, this is a dirty hat. But uh, I love this hat. I get one every year when I go to LS Fest. I also get a LS Fest hat. It's the same it's the same kind of hat, but it's black right here and white all around the back. And then the bill is black on top and white underneath. So, but it's nice too. I, I wear it when I go out because it's clean looking, you know. And I get one every year of both. So, LS Fest be coming up in September in Bowling Green. And that's where they have it, LS Fest East. And then LS Fest West is in Las Vegas. Uh, but Bowling Green, that's where Holly is located, the company. So they have it at Beach Bend and Bowling Green. Uh, really great show. If y'all live on the East Coast, anywhere from, you know, the Midwest to the East Coast, and you're in the cars and LS's and stuff like that, it is definitely worth going to that show. And then also, I'm carrying my phone this week. It's a Samsung Galaxy S20. It's not a real expensive phone, you know, so just a, you know, that's my ADC for this week. What do y'all think? And if you like my video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and if you liked anything on the table and you know your my circumstance, it's hot, I'm wearing basketball shorts and a t-shirt, uh, do you approve of my EDC for this week? Would this be a good EDC for you? I mean, for most part, this is a good EDC period for 
for most people uh, but you know I usually carry more I usually carry a fixed blade and, and then I have my uh, multi-tool holster that I carry with an ink pen in it which also carries my flashlight but I ain't wearing a belt this week so I'm not wearing this and uh, you know I, I need the flash flashlights to work in cars and stuff at the shop so this is what I'm carrying this week I hope y'all approve if you don't well let me know in the comments below if you do let me know in the comments below and if you think of something that I couldn't think of that isn't very heavy that I could have added um, you know let me know in the comments below and I'll you know and as always I hope everybody's belly's full I hope your refrigerator's full and for the love of everything I hope your gas tank's full and we'll see you next time